it's time for Eric Place Multiplayer Civ. It's going to be a long one, and not just because um, we're starting our um, Gathering Storm games, but because um, because Georgia. Is it Georgian Empire now? Okay. <laughs> All right, so. It'd be dangerous here to be next to a river, but it doesn't say floodplains. So maybe I'm okay? I'm gonna chance it. Keep a wary eye on the nearby river, so maybe I shouldn't have chanced it. Okay. For those huts, that was a strange picture to have. Okay, so got some mountains nearby, which will be good for religion and education <coughs> got some bananas some salt so we got some luxury some sheep it's a pretty good starting spot um There are hills nearby, lots of hills, so I would advocate for mining. Um, let's see. What leads to irrigation? Pottery does. <coughs> Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do mining, followed by animal husbandry, getting to irrigation, Doing some writing, some astrology, so I can get a religion, archery, masonry, in case someone decides to attack. Um, bronze working, so we can have barracks. Water mill, since I'm next to a river. Then currency, and I'll leave it at that. That's quite a bit of planning for something that is a... Um, what you might call it, a multiplayer game, and it's going to go little by little. So production-wise, cool, you've got the queue, which I love. All right, so I think we want to go scout, warrior, builder, scout. We'll probably want to do a settler after that, so I'm going to have to wait till I grow three more turns, then I'll add a settler to the queue. We're on Pangea, so I wonder if that means this is a Pangea map or not. I don't know if the game is smart enough to do that. Yeah, see, why do I have this cart? That's okay. Alright, so there goes my first turn in our first Gathering Storm game. Save that turn. So I think I was saying before, not only is this going to be longer than my previous... Whoa, Emperor difficulty. Holy smokes. Hopefully that's not for us. Hopefully that's for like Dan or Dave or something. Um, <coughs> um, but also, as I was saying in my single player playthrough as Canada in Gathering Storm, Gathering Storm games take a lot longer to load. I'm not sure what they changed about their code to make it much, much longer. Not Still not quite as long as Civ 5, I think, but still, even from here to the the little uh, picture of the dude takes longer. So, I don't have that much to chat about at the, <laughs> at the moment. Um, so, I might just end up with some silence, which is not good video, but uh, um, I do like that uh, whoever named this game Dan or Dave called it the Stormy Game, since it's part of Gathering Storm. Uh, what else? Oh, I'm drinking the last of the Egyptian mint uh, herbal tea. Um, today's not a weekend game. It's actually a snow day game. It's snowing outside. Uh, and so everything is closed. The airport has canceled all the flights, or most of the flights. I canceled my parents' flight. Which I'm okay saying, because... By the time this video is on YouTube, it'll be like months and months and months later. Ooh, Dan's playing Civ, so I wonder if he's playing the turn that I just finished. Unfortunately, it's going to take forever to get him this turn, because this thing is taking forever to load. All right. 
So, who am I now? Red. I'm Mongolia. Cool! I'm getting to play brand new civs, and I just did random. I didn't pick. Oh, look at all these nice mountain tiles here. Um, and I think this means I'm not going to flood from this side. I might flood from this side if there's um, global warming. And who knows if Dan or Dave would be spiteful enough to purposely cause global warming just to F with me. Alright, so... Let's found that city. And by found it... Ooh, look at this. This is cool. Um, <clears throat> now, the previous game might have had this too, but I like how it kind of leads in like this into the city. Because it would be like that if it was a real um, a real city. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Um, all right, let's see what's over here where we think there's an octopus. Wow, he moved really fast. I wonder if that's a Mongolian thing or just the game slightly glitched out or something. Karakoram, the seat of Mongolian government. Anyway, so I picked random units for in play your damn turn. So I think it's really cool that I ended up with uh, different civs I haven't played before. Unfortunately, here's a volcano. I anticipate that causing me some issues going forward. Um, these just seem like regular mountains, which are good. All right, so let's do this again. This time around, what have I got around me? I've got some deer. Some hills. Oh, some cattle here that I can't see behind the name. Some luxury. Okay. So, perhaps a similar but slightly different path. Let's do husbandry, mining. Um, let's do sailing, since we're right there by the water. Astrology, for sure. Then we want a science. Um... <coughs> I'm not sure what my unique unit is. Ooh, the Urdu. Unique building for Mongolia. Plus one movement to cavalry. May not be built an encampment that already has a barracks. Okay, that's good to know. Alright, so let's do horseback riding. Of course, we're going to need the barracks zone. Um... Just trying to see if I can spot my unit, Keshig. Okay, so let's let's get to our good unit so that we can um, f with some people. <coughs> All right, I think that's good for now. And then we'll add masonry behind that and celestial navigation, shipbuilding. Photography. All right. I think that's enough science for now. Production. I'm going to do the same queue as I did before. Scout, warrior, scout, builder. And then we'll wait a couple turns so that we can get uh, settler. I like that their symbol is like fire or something. It's pretty cool. All right. Save that game. Submit that file. Next up. The third gathering storm game. I think we've got this balance, unless my brothers happen to disturb it because they're the ones setting up all the games, where we've got three um, base game games going on. Those are the ones we're furthest along. We've got three um, rise and fall, and now we've got three gathering storm games. So nine games total. Um, Dave was complaining. They switched the yes and no, which I, I noticed. So I accidentally clicked no there. So things are taking a little bit longer than I wanted. These are big maps with lots of people to attack or attack us. From humble beginnings, you have shown remarkable growth. That's pretty cool. Leave your bronze for iron, and rule with pretty horse cool picture on his face. The sky above begins to reveal its secrets, a collection of heaven that uplifts our hearts 
and guides us to foreign shores. Coupe the Navigator. You named the land. <coughs> this is a really interesting sieve because you start in the ocean. So to compensate, they give you a free builder and population. Um, you start with shipbuilding, so that's kind of cool because you can, you can kind of get a good survey of the world really early, and potentially, depending how fast you build your settlers, kind of spread all over the place. Um, Civ tends to, if you don't change the options, put you where it makes sense for your Civ. Like if you're Canada, they'll put you where it's cold. All right, got an Eagle Warrior to start with. That's freaking amazing. All right, so I'm definitely on floodplains, which is scary as F. Going here still hurts me from global warming, but here I can get hurt in a flood. I think it's worth moving and founding my city next turn. Oh, I can still do it this turn. Excellent. All right, and I start off with plus five score already. Got my sailing going. Look at that fire over there. That's pretty cool. All right. Eagle Warriors. F yes. All right. I'm going to put them on... on oh, uh, no, no. I'm actually going to go... Uh, no, I'm going to put them on alert for now. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll do some light exploration with him. Uh, let's go here next. All right. Research. What's around me here? Nothing that specifically guides what I want to do. There's animal husbandry over here. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is do husbandry. Um, was it mining I needed for this? What was it? No, okay. Um, got some hills. All right, animal husbandry. Mining, sailing, and we just leave it there. I'm going to do a lot less. <coughs> Alright, so for our queue, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a scout to look for stuff, and then we're going to do just Eagle Warrior, Eagle Warrior, Eagle Warrior. Um, see if we can take out some cities right away. One, two, three, four, plus the one I've got. We'll do a builder, and then by that time, we'll be ready for our first settler. All right, cool. I'm excited. Three different games with three different civs. Very cool. Unlike our other games where I ended up with America twice and Germany twice. All right, we'll go to the main menu. All right, time for the Rise and Fall games. Rise and Fall, no Gathering Storm. Get those loading as quickly as possible. What's annoying is these games load more slowly too, not just the, uh, not just the other ones. From humble beginnings, oh. you have hey, look at that! Proven wrong right away. Leave pure bronze for iron, and rule with horse and sword. The sky above begins to reveal its secrets, a collection <coughs> of heaven that uplifts our hearts and guides us to foreign shores. Queen Sandu. The stars reveal you lead career to greatness. Build Seun to educate your people. For the secrets of the world are theirs to uncover. For those who would steal your knowledge, treat them to a rain of rocket-propelled fire from your Huacha. Reach for the heavens, shrewd queen, <coughs> and your people will reach with you. Okay. Slowly reaching for the stars, the heavens. Okay. All right, come in here. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. Broop, broop. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I think that's new to this uh, expansion pack. Could be wrong, though. Delegation, barbarians, 
Warrior attacked. Housing. Entities. Ah, this is the first time I can... I can do a queue on this one. I believe. Oh no, I already set up a queue, didn't I? Let's see. Okay. Alright. Oh, I exited out. Uh, all right. Magdeburg needs amenities. Alm needs amenities. We need to get to irrigation. Don't remember what his point of being here was. Maybe he was just healing up or something. Alright. Let's go this way. Try and attack that boat. Ship. Alright, save the game. Grab the next one. Humble beginnings, you have shown remarkable growth. Leave your bronze for iron, and rule with horse and sword. The sky above begins to reveal its secrets, a collection of heaven that uplifts our hearts and guides us to foreign shores. All Spain stands ready to answer your prayers, devout King Philip. From your palace at El Escorial, you can send forth your followers, missionaries, apostles, and conquistadors, ready to strike out across the seas to spread the good. <coughs> Alright, just says next turn. Someone was sending me a text that I gotta check. From humble beginnings, you have shown remarkable growth. Leave your bronze for iron and rule with horse and sword. The sky above begins to reveal its secrets, a collection of heaven that uplifts our hearts and guides us to foreign shores. Queen Sandu. The stars reveal you lead career to greatness. Build Seun to educate your people. We'll be back. For the secrets of the world are theirs to uncover. For those who would steal your knowledge, treat them to a rain of rocket-propelled fire from your Huacha. Reach for the heavens, shrewd queen. Huh, so I got my first campus. Wealth consists not. Alright. Oh, this is the one where I was thinking of maybe taking on the Chinese. Alright. Let's do celestial navigation. Alright, Cologne. Let's see. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Let's do Q. Let's do a library. What's their tech? They've got about the same tech that I do. <coughs> let's do, let's see, spearmen's are 25, warriors are 20. Let's do spearmen, 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 spearmen. Okay. Hamburg. 
Um, after your settler, let's do a trader, then a builder, then a galley, then a quadrivine. Achen, let's do archer, archer, spearman, archer, spearman, archer, spearman. Okay. Actually, let's do another galley and a quadrivine. All right. I think that's good. Next turn. Submit that file. All right. It's time for our games without any expansion packs. <coughs> From humble beginnings, you have shown remarkable growth. Leave your bronze for iron and rule with horse and sword. The sky above begins to reveal its secrets, a collection of heaven that uplifts our hearts and guides us to foreign shores. All Spain stands ready to answer your prayers, devout King Philip. From your palace at El Escorio, still snowing outside, you can send before it was these giant followers. flakes, these really missionaries, big, fluffy apostles, snow just fallen. and conquistadors, now, really, really, really ready to strike snow. out across the it's seas to, to spread the freezing good rain word later. about your most holy empire. So it's going to be a real son of a gun to uh, clear the driveway. May the driver. treasures they uncover fuel your quest. <coughs> Luckily, the temperature is ever so slightly above freezing, and so I think that's helping to keep um, uh, more of the um, snow from sticking to the roads, relatively speaking, compared to how much is sticking to the grass and my car and other things. So, all right, two more games. About to jump into my uh, India one. Where Dave did not quit. He must only have like one other city in my Gilgamesh game or something for him to have just quit. You have built great cities of stone. Maybe he just got frustrated that I wasn't listening to his sues for suits Soon for you peace. Will stand under the towering pinnacles of castles. We'll see. He may comment either on this video or to me in person whenever the videos win. go up. Just as the young apprentice learned to carry a sword, <coughs> so which of course is part of the reason why to understand your put the videos up so much later world. because heroic Frederick, I want to see the strategy. King of the Germans, me. your task is to forge the independent states that surround you into an empire. You are blessed to be a great military. My uh, netbook that I put some rocks in my bug path. that is. That I determined not to be worth debugging. So, I'll be right back.
Okay. I do with you. I'm the purple one. Purple one? Yeah. Bye. Um. Bye, Daddy. I don't know. I don't know, purple. I don't know. Alright, <coughs> let's do. Do, 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 do another bottle. <coughs> All the purple ones are me. One, two, three. The one. Look at that one. The fortress. Uh huh. Do you bad guy? No. Do you want to be bad guy? No. Because I'm bad guy super. Yeah, it just. This is a new one. Uh huh. That's a new one, Daddy. Yeah. Guys. Yeah. This is purple guy. Boom. This is purple guy over there. Yeah. I was I was seeing moss. Hold on. Volcano, that's right. <laughs> it is a rough thing. Beginnings right. you have shown yes, remarkable daddy. growth. No. You're Leave your bronze God. for us uh -huh. and rule with horse and sword. Yeah, the sky that above God. begins to reveal its that secrets. That is Gilgamesh. A collection I don't of that. This uplifts our hearts. Oh, yeah. He's a big beard. The foreign shores. <laughs> Much rests upon your shoulders, <laughs> King Gilgamesh. Yeah. Your own people. Uh -huh. Many people well, of the world short. look to you as a man. But you are more mm. than a mere man. And the weight of the world will never cause you to waver. Encourage the people of Suma to settle the fertile lands along rivers. Let's see. Yeah. Hold on. This time I'm the dark blue guy. Yeah. It's all full, guys. Mm -hmm. It's all full. Yep. But there's no purple guy anymore. He can't do Yep. He can't do He did. He did. Alright, let's see. I'm going to back up and heal up for a minute. There's a crab. Crab, they're all here. Look, see. One, two. One, two. That's too fast. There's no crab. Alright. That's it. I did it. You did it. That's me. That is you. And you too. And me too. Yep. It's been Eric playing Civ 6 multiplayer. 
See you guys next time. Bye.